Hello everyone, my name is Ray Lazor and welcome back to Ring of Fates. Hopefully I get this out on time or else it will be very embarrassing, but today marks the one year anniversary of my story mode playthrough. I'm very happy with how my original series went, managing to rack up to 300 views every video at the time of this recording. A very big number for a tiny unorganized channel such as my own. And so today I'd like to introduce you to my victory lap playthrough, Multiplay. This series will feature a full playthrough of every dungeon, examples of all characters, and their lovely quests that you can do in multiplay, all the multiplay dialogue, all the unique upgrades that you can find in each area, well, most of them, a speed run through each dungeon, as well as a showcase of some interesting things to do in New Game Plus. However, this video will be essentially recovering what we did in episode 27, since that also fell into the multiplay branch. So with that, let's begin. I should mention I don't remember any voices I did for anything and everyone and anyone. Another thing is my grammar is terrible when I'm doing this live, so I apologize if I stutter over words, miss words completely, misread words. I have a tendency of doing that and I don't know why I would bother doing a JRPG that involves a lot of dialogue when I have that kind of problem. But regardless, we're going to be playing as a female Selkie, female because we've already seen Nash's motto. But a Soki, because that lets me do a lot better in speedrunning, so that's what we're going for. Let's- oh, oh, that's the wrong button. Okay, first mishap of the playthrough. Under two minutes. Fantastic. Okay, let's, let's get this sorted. There we go. Let's name our character something fantastic. There we go. No, not actually fantastic. That would be a little strange. Yeah, there we go. Let's go with something a little bit more stranger. So Kia, a name that no one would ever use, but I will, because... I'm on original. Let's hop into the villa, which is only unlocked after completing multiplayer. Uh, after completing story mode, two mishaps. Anyways, let's go on in here, and we'll be here to talk with Stoatskin. Ah, yes, it's good to be back in this village after so long. The twins must have grown up. Hmm. Hello there, fellow traveler. How did you find this place? No, no, no need for words. I know exactly how you feel. Hmm. I'm a traveling Mugo with no place to call home. And sometimes you grow weary of the loneliness and long for that warmth of human contact. Or, or Mugo contact. Are you okay with other Mugos there? Hey, Stoatskin, we can't start this video being a racist, alright? The weed traveler should be thankful to have an oasis like this that welcomes you with open arms and... Yeah, clearly I didn't want to talk to him anymore because of how, how much of a bigot he is. Gosh. Um, <laughs> What's the matter? You should listen till the end to what a Mugo has to say. Anyway, I f always feel I should give back and return what they give me, don't you? After all, a good traveler never forgets to repay the kindness he receives. So let me ask you something. Do you like putting up signs? Hey, 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 I'm talking to you. Will you please? I mean, hello? And that's pretty much it. Let's move on in through, and we'll be able to go over to Yurinchalinka's lovely, lovely abode, and Kablooey! There's Alaria just chilling out there. Actually, not very chill. That would be a pet terrible thing, actually. She's very warm by this lovely, cozy fireplace with Meef. So, on the spot, Meef voice, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah. How am I doing, Meef? Um, Lady Alaria, I think you should turn down the heat just a wee bitty. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose a stew doesn't need to be boiling quite so furiously. Ouch. Lady Alaria, are you alrighty? Ooh, that was hot. Lady Alaria, perhaps you should leave the cooking to me. No, no, that I cannot do. Please, let us continue, Meef. You don't have to try so hardy. You may not know how to cook, but the food always comes out goody. Yuri and Chilinka love your foodie. There's something special about how her mother cooks for her lovies. Chilinka is a lot like her father. She has an appreciation for simple flavors. Besides, it's Yuri who always helps me and makes the food come out good. Then he smiles and says he likes mama's cooking. A young boy like him shouldn't have to worry about hurting his mother's feelings. I have to do a better job as a mother. I want to let Yuri eat something I can I cook just by myself. Oh, Lady Alaria, I understandy. Then let me teach you all I know, including some secret loti tippies. Oh, Lady Alaria, you improve your kitchen skills in no timey. You can be a mighty mommy. But first, um, 
Maybe you should turn down the heat just a wee bitty. Um, Lady Ilaria? Oh. I'm surprised I didn't screw up any of Meme's dialogue. Her talking is so difficult. I have to do this. Who can I let Yuri be a better cook than I am? It's so embarrassing. He's so good with everything around the house too? When did he learn to do all that? <sighs> but watching him work the kitchen when he can barely reach things on his toes? He's so cute. I have to make it up to him. Let's do it. La la la. Another thing is that you can actually chat up this bookcase. Chronicle. Blah, blah. The faded text is unreadable. This is probably a reference to something in the Crystal Chronicles universe. Maybe a different game. Maybe something chilling out inside one of these games. I have no idea. Hopefully you do. And with that, let's go. Maybe I can do a Google search later and post my findings then. Alrighty, let's move over here and what we want to do first is go to Al's house. I don't know Al's voice so we're not even going to bother with that. Or Yuri's, or Chalinka's, or anyone else really. I just wanted to do a meat voice. My apologies whoever you are, but I'm momentarily too tied up to give you a welcome cordial. And that's pretty much it. See you later Al! Bye! Okay, and if we move to this corner, you can see uh, a lovely little Chilinka comforting her brother. No matter what universe, the bond of love stays tight. Oh, hello. Are you on your way somewhere? This is a small village, and we're the only residents, but I hope you like it here. Let's go back into Al's place. And you'll see he's standing around now. The power from that light was the most ethereal. What could have emitted such a light powerful? Oh my gosh, I completely butchered that line. <laughs> Leaving that word flat. Oh, I'm so sorry. Also, there's a bunch of bookcases here, which I'll read after all the dialogue with our lovey lovies, because I'm sure you're all excited about Yuri and Lat of Yes. Let's go in. I see a stranger. Whoa, whoa, Yuri, what do you think you're doing? There's such an embarrassment. Can't you at least say hello? Oh, um, hi. You're on private property, suspicious trespasser. Yuri, what's the matter with you? Uh, oh, uh, I feel tempted to try to do a Latin voice, but I'm not gruff enough. Ha ha ha. Oh, okay, no. Ha ha ha, that's no way to talk to people, Yuri. Greetings, traveler. <laughs> Can't do it. There isn't much to do here, but we always welcome visitors. <laughs> Please forgive my brother. He's just so naive sometimes. No. I can't be losing my cool right now. It's supposed to be heart touching. Heartwarming. <laughs> Yuri, don't you have something to say? I'm sorry I called you suspicious. You may be a real nice trespasser for all I know. Enjoy your stay. I'm so sorry I called you suspicious. I hope you enjoy your stay. Okay. My brother is so naive sometimes. Go away, fly. Alright, let's talk to Latif a little bit more. So you're an adventurer. Traveling these lands all alone is it's in itself a remarkable feat. Well, I thought I did pretty good there. What do you think? That was good. You're sounding more and more like you the way you did before. Oh, good. But still, it's weird to be talking like a little kid again. Don't be embarrassed, Yuri. We are little kids. It's perfectly normal. And that's how it is. Well, I've probably talked long enough. There isn't much to do, but I hope you enjoy your stay. And that's pretty much it. Let's talk to these lovely pale folky folks here. Wow, so you go on, on adventures all by yourself, huh? I think it might be more fun if you went with your friends. Sir Latov, it is almost time, Prandial. We should call for... <sighs> ah, the twin rascals. I was going to fetch you two from your activities, Troglodjtika. Oh my gosh, why? Why would you do this to me? I wish you were always this punctual. Hmm, do you find something to be comical? Oh, nothing. Oh, Hanalem, we have a visitor. A lone adventurer, as a matter of fact. Is that so? Well, well. <laughs> it's an arrow, Taro. Nash must have been here. Sneaky as always. No one seems to see him but us. But what's that arrow, Taro, doing on Al's head? 
It's almost harvest time, so he probably meant it as a gift. We should go visit him in the forest. That's a good idea. Maybe Mama can pack us some lunches, and then we can all go. Okay, then we're gonna have to get up early to help Mama. Do we have to get up early? Oh, you can stay in bed. I can help her myself. I'm just kidding, I'll help. Well, with your cooking, you wouldn't be much help. Excuse me? You can't peel gourd potatoes. You don't even wash them properly. We eat dirt every time you cook. D don't you know there's nutrients in the skin of potatoes? Haven't you ever heard of al dente? Who's he? Some yuk chef? I bet he knows you're not supposed to toss star carrots in whole like you do. I don't like them, and it's a hassle to move them to the side of the plate if you chop them up. I like the round corn. They're so sweet. Be sure to chop those up so they're easier to eat. Okay. As for the fish, I took out all the bones out of- Oh my. I took all the bones out of- <laughs> I took all the bones out for last night's supper. That made it better, didn't it? Yup, that was yummy. That's my Yuri. But I want to eat that meat dish too. But that takes a lot of time. Oh, alright. Yay! What were we talking about? Anyways, don't worry about it. I cook because I like to. It's just nice to see everyone smile after watching everyone die in front of me. Oh, Yuri. And we talked to Chalinka over here. Just because you can cook and clean and do laundry doesn't give you the right to be snotty. And you're making me sound like a total loser. You better watch that attitude, Yuri. If I put my mind to it, I can do things just as well as you can. Alright. Let's talk to Alhanalem here with... I don't even know how you managed to get that arrow tar over there. Obviously, you can't find Nash because the little twins hinted on not being able to see him unless you're those two. Which we are not because we are Selkia, brave lone adventurer across the distant lands of Crystal Chronicle or something like that. Hmm, traveling alone does sound like a luxury wonderful. You stare at me with a facial expression most quizzical. Ah, perhaps you have seen my face in another time and locale. A long ago, I served the country as a mage, enjoying a rather privileged social, ah, status social. But that is a tale for books historical. The life I n now is the life I have now is what I find most enjoyable. Dear traveler, I hope you keep my identity only to yourself as our secret mutual. Yeah, thanks a lot, Al, for messing up your words around to make it harder for me to commentate in an already miserable playthrough 13 minutes in. Gosh. There isn't much for you to do, but I hope you enjoy your stay. And that's pretty much it. If we head over here. Oh, it's just, uh, oh, whoopsie daisy. I, uh, oh, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave now, guys. Ah, oh, KO. Supper's ready. Come inside, everybody. Yay! Actually, you two should take a bath before we eat. Let me shampoo your hair. Okay. What? No, I don't need a bath. Yes, you do. You don't need a shampoo. You need a whole body wash. Mama's gonna have to use all the soap she has to make you clean. Oh, come on. Not with Mama. Ha ha ha. Of course not. Yuri, you should come with me. It'll be just us men. Nothing to worry about, right? Care to join us, Alhanalem? Hmm, this unique opportunity for male bonding sounds delightful. Okay, good call, Papa. I don't think so. Neither do I. Funny, funny. Yuri's coming with us, Papa. It's just going to be you and Al. No, wait, I'm going to go with Papa and... While Lady Ilaria washes your hair, I'm going to wash your body. Oh yes, Yuri, your sweet little body. No, no wait, wait! Hee <laughs> hee. Yeah, scrub him down good until he's pink, Meef. Bath time with Yuri! Whoopee! Well then, shall we, Ohanalem? Indeed we shall. Let us head for the hot springs in Mount Val. Hmm. Do you suppose our visitor is in some kind of trouble physical? Oh, I'd say it's just fatigue. Let's let the traveler rest for a little while. Hmm, that is a deduction. L logical. Ah, could that be Stotskin in my vision frontal? Greetings, gentlemen. It's sure good to be back. 
Great timing, Stoatskin. We're leaving. Come with us. We're on our way to the hot springs. Ah, that sounds like just what the doctor or... Hmm? Is there something on my surface facial? Uh, no, not really. Boy, you've changed since the last time I saw you. And you are as strange as usual. Let us continue while we dip in a hot water full of minerals. I just couldn't get the owl at the end. Anyways, that's pretty much all we'll ever see of them. I've tried running off to Mount Val looking for them. They're not there. Besides, Hilaria's like leading them into a dark, dank cave in order to wash Yuri. I have no idea how this is going to go. Or they jumped into that well, so I don't want to find out. Let's go read some books here, and this is going to be the hardest part of the video. Because I need to keep track of 18 books. Or just miss some. I don't know. Let's go. Rabena Teira Sports Daily, date set for season opener. The schedule for the ever popular Rabena Teira Sports Fest has been announced earlier than expected. Over here, Rabena Teira Ecological Study, policies on environmental changes caused by increased monster. Okay, and over here we have another stack. The Great Magic Manual, 3rd Ed. Magic experts explore methods of extracting a child's enthusiasm. Oh, oh, oh gosh, that got weird. Um, there's also a shelf over here. And a stack. Wait, how am I supposed to go at this? Eh, whatever. That's fine. Can I read this? Ah, wait, hold on. Is this a shelf that I can read? No, it isn't. Okay, we're good to go. So, oh, a little messed up there, don't worry. Oh, oh, and there's a shelf over here. Okay, I'll read that one after. Ah, I'm already here. Mount Val Nature Guide, an illustrated introduction to the flora and fauna found on this... Blah. I believe if you read them again, there's nothing there. So, yeah, there we go. Report on Kalanda Io. Investigate, investigative teams review the island is near, barely, inhab barely habitable. Google Mail Order, Spring Issue. Baiters will find these sturdy cooking utensils, utensils easy to use. Coupeau. Alrighty. Let's head over to the bottom. And also because uh, the reason why I'm so uh, strict or weird about all of this reading thing is that I have a very, very specific order I go through in order to actually not miss any of the books, which I still might because even when I did it over three times, I still missed one or two. Over here. Friends of Crystals Quarterly. Traveling to an unfamiliar place, this guide of helpful crystals will blah, blah, blah. The fall of Rayla Sayel, the glory of the city known as the Lily of the Shade of the Lake is now but a shade. Yes. Irreversibility of in astrology. The movements of heavenly bodies influence the human psyche by turning the moon red and making everyone angry. Precognition through alchemy. A study of transitional forces in specific exist existen existential probability. <laughs> Dang it, Al, why do you have to read such weird books? Anthology of Magicology, version 5. By combining... Oh, volume 5. By combining different forms of magic, a new form of emerges. For instance, combining the spell clear with, with each of the attack spells allows control over time. Uh oh, wait, that's the same one. Okay, is there a different one here? Nope, okay. Anthology of Magicology. Volume 57, Fire Blizzard Thunder, three types of attack spells. People formerly called sages layered these spells to gain complete mastery over gravity. And Anthology of Magicology, Volume 79, Cure, Raise, and Clear, spells for healing recovery. Sages of old combined these spells giving rise to the discipline now known as Holy Magic. Alrighty, so that's pretty much four books there, I believe. Let's head over to the left side where we have a few more. Crystals and Big Bang Fury. As for the relationship between Crystals and the Miasma, Rabena Terra History Revised. The definite work, definitive work, including annotations by the original Blah. Ten ways to a stronger body for legs that can withstand those unexpected jumps from children. Yes, yes, yes. Let's hop on up. And go over to Meef's place where we'll probably be able to read a cooking manual or two. Dictionary of Magical Cuisine. Bring the whole family together with a star carrot fondue. And Alchemy Fun, a practical guide. 
Stir briskly and don't forget to add a full measure of love or hatred when you're fighting enemies in order to increase your damage and critical rate. Yay, that's all for books. If I missed any, which I probably did, I'll probably forget about it. If not, there should be a little thing up on screen, unless I forgot about it. Yay. At any rate, we're going to head on off over to Rabena Tehran now because this video is not over just yet. With this, I should also mention, mention, mention again. Or rather, not again, but once. These videos after this first one will probably be very long. These first two or three. Since I'm doing two, two run-throughs of the same dungeon, a speed run and a regular run, and that takes up a lot of time. Reading and talking to all these people takes a long time. Buying and shopping takes a long time. Quests take a long time. Stuff like that. So, something to keep in mind. With that being said, let me just flip my notes paper thingy away to my next page. Lovely. Yeah. Guard, bottom left of Ribbonatera. There you are. Ugh, another day of pacing around. It's getting old fast. Hardly any people are left in this town, so it's doubtful that anything will happen in my shift. The king's been preparing quests in an effort to draw people back, but it hasn't done much so far. What we need is to exterminate the monsters outside of town, and anyone will come streaming in. Hmm, pardon me. It's a long time since anyone's come to talk. Hooey. Foot Patrol is an unbelievably cushy job. I'm terribly sorry. Alrighty. See you later. We got another thing where, if you'll notice, the lovely rotating platform that showcases all our lovely beauties is now in the center of the town in order to bask in limelight. Hush! It's finally installed. Do they have to make it so heavy? Oh, are you an adventurer? Please try our town platform. Stand on it to become an instant celebrity. Enjoy public humiliate admiration. Yes, admiration. So hop right up there, strut your stuff, show us what you've got. Let's have a look. Look, look at you, get on! Alright, the town's sparsely populated at the moment. Once folks get back, you'll be living in the limelight. Okay, let's move on ahead with another guard in mind. And of course, we'll be checking in with Koka in the castle as well. Ah, ah, I'm bored out of my mind. Ah, nobody's looking anyway. Now's a good time for a nap. Ah, I'm terribly sorry. The road to Old Town is currently closed to through traffic. I take my job duties seriously. Fulfilling my daily task gives me a sense of purpose in life. I can barely keep my eyes open. How come soldiers don't get an afternoon break like every- The road to Old Town is currently closed to through traffic. We appreciate your kind cooperation. Alrighty then. You know, it's a little unfortunate because even the shopkeepers aren't around as you can see. But they're also neat to talk to, so let's give that a go. Step right up to unmanned magic. We meet all your Thargturic needs. All we're missing is a shopkeeper as well as a commentator who can pronounce Thargturic. Yay! Okay, we don't have money. Greetings, custom quality without anyone to make it here at the Workshop of Wonders. How do we do it? Ooh. Welcome to the Automated Armory. Leave what you owe. We trust ya. And that's pretty much it. Let's head over here, where we can talk to our lovely priest. Our sincerest apologies, visitor. The temple is closed at present for its grand centennial cleaning. We ask for your kind understanding and your prayers for all of those affected by the temporary closure. Alright. And there's another shopkeeper here with this lovely little Mungo. The Mog Mark will restock every time you complete a dungeon or a quest, I believe. So now you don't have to worry about a set amount of upgrades per playthrough. <sighs> this is so not fair, Coupeau. I have to keep shop while the boss is out on a trip, Coupeau. Why bother keeping shop when I don't even get any looky-loos, Coupeau? What? Are you here to shop, Coupeau? Bless your heart, Coupeau. I won't have to get yelled at anymore, Coupeau. This thing is very strange to read out loud. Please come again, Coupeau. I have a feeling that it's like, you're not supposed to read it out loud because of how many Coupeaus there are, but you know, just, things happen. At any rate, let's roll on over town to Kingdom. Ah, uh, ho! We're gonna go meet with Coca and all the cool dudes. Yay! I don't think the townspeople are coming back until the monsters in the surrounding areas are gone. But that might be a while yet. The monsters seem to be more than the subjugation teams can handle. Alright. 
Adventurers are usually presented with a quest that commensur commensurates with their ability. Commensurate? Commensurate? Is that even a word? With their abilities. Once adventurers complete a quest and prove their worth, they will be presented with additional quests. What about quests? On your manners, you are in the presence of His Majesty. Oh, never mind. With so few people around, I'd suppose it'd be alright if we were more casual. Just between us, quests are fine, but I would doubt that they'll have any effect or appeal under the circumstances. If revitalizing the state is our goal, then we should first restore peace by subjugating the monsters. Peace will bring the people back and their activities will be what breathes life back into the state. When peace is restored, you see the people back in town and then quests will become more popular. And that's where the multiplayer dialogue kicks back in. All you need to know is this. Kill the monsters in every quest and the list of quests will grow. And that's pretty much it from... Al, hint hint wink wink. In the multiplayer universe, this is actually a proper advisor and not Alhanalem the Alhanalem. So I guess this lovely lady's name is not Alhanalem because, you know, Alhanalem has Alhanalem's name. Are you Alhanalem listening to me? Let's talk to Koka. Welcome, courageous adventurer. I am Koka, King of Rabanatera. I'll get straight to the point. Monsters have become increasingly active in our neighboring lands, causing our townspeople to flee. Subjugation teams have been sent to those lands, but I'm afraid we're vastly outnumbered. Thus, we are preparing quests for brave souls who are willing to lend a hand in revitalizing our state. Here are the quests we are about. We are now recruiting candidates for. And you actually get a little bit more dialogue if you deny Coca. Ah, not quite you had in mind. I see. Very well. Come back if you have a change of heart. Might you be feeling the overwhelming urge to help us, now that you've exhausted my dialogue? Oh, I hope you'll feel the urge someday soon. Nope, I don't feel like it. I've been talking for 27 minutes straight and probably made like 20 billion grammatical errors, yay! With that, we're pretty much done with all the dialogue around here. Thank you for watching this lovely, lovely first episode of Ring of Fates Multiplay. If you enjoyed something, 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 something. In the next video, we'll be taking on Valley of Heroes, where we'll get things kicked, ready to start, stuff like that, more grammatical errors, more weird talking, and hopefully, better facts, because I don't like being wrong since I've worked so, so hard to research on this. See you then!